This story is Froggy Goes to Bed by Jonathan London. It was too late. Froggy was too pooped to pop. He'd been playing hard at Max's all day long. Froggy, called his mother. What? It's time for bed. No, cried Froggy. I'm not tired. Why don't you take a nice bath, she said. We'll make it a bubble bath. Okay, said Froggy, but first I have to find my boat. Flop, flop, flop. He looked in the fridge. Nope. He looked underneath the sink. Not here. He looked in the laundry bin. I found it. And he took a bath. Splash, splash, splash. Now it's time to put your pajamas on, said his mother. And she wrapped him all cozy warm in a towel. Okay, said Froggy. But first, I have to find them. Flop, flop, flop. He looked on his floor. Nope. He looked in his toy chest. Not here. And he looked behind his desk. I found them. And he put them on. Loop. Froggy, called his mother. What? It's time to brush, said his mother. Okay, said Froggy. But first, I have to find my toothbrush. Flop, flop, flop. He looked in the fishbowl. Nope. He looked in the wastebasket. Not here. He looked in the cookie jar. I found it. And he brushed his gums. Brush, brush, brush. Froggy, called his mother. What? I bet you want your huggy, said his mother. Yep, said Froggy. I have to find my huggy. Flop, flop, flop. Oh, here it is. It's under the stove. Bonk. He gave it a hug and climbed into bed. Now it's time to sleep, said his mother, and gave him a good night kiss. Okay, said Froggy, but first I need a snack, then I'll go to sleep. And he hopped out of bed. Flop, flop, flop. Munch, crunch, munch. He ate a bowl of fries, then crawled back into bed. Now go to sleep, Froggy, said his mother. She was getting a little tired herself. Okay, said Froggy, but I'm thirsty. And you have to close the closet and open my door just a crack and turn the night light down just how I like it. Then I'll go to sleep. Oh, fiddlesticks, said his mother and got him a glass of water. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. It spilled. Oh, Froggy, said his mother. She wiped it up, then got him another glass of water. Glug, glug, glug. Close the closet. Slam! Opened his door just a crack. And turned down the light just right. Now go to sleep, she said. Okay, said Froggy. But first, will you read me a story? Of course, dear, she yawned. And she read, and she read, and she read till the book dropped. Thump! And she fell asleep, snoring like a horse. Good night, Mom, said Froggy. Then he closed his eyes and went to sleep. Zzzz. Good night, Froggy, said Mr. Owl, still on a branch. The end.